Hello, I'm Ujwal, brand ambassador for Dress My Craft and today I'm sharing some fun Valentine's Day cards and I will be using a bunch of dyes. I will show you what all dyes I'm using. I'm using this number six dye. This has these two foliage and I used iris paper 160 GSM to cut these and then this one is the newest uh, release the exo tag dye and then I have the couple tag dye these are absolutely gorgeous and um, they are perfect for making shaker elements which I'll be doing today then this is the feathers dye another beautiful one and then I have this older five petal um, dye that I used to make these um, beautiful flowers. I used this thread pollen in old olive color and um, I made a bunch of flowers. Uh, all of the supplies are listed in the description box below if you'd like to check them out. And uh, I also made these cute filler flowers with the smallest dye. They're really, really cute. And next I'm using uh, the stitch scalloped rectangle dye. Um, I will be using it to cut out some frames for the cards and the paper pack I'm using today is again the newly released eternal love paper pack it has some of the really cute uh, patterns and very beautiful pastel colors so I'm going to use the trimmer and uh, cut a paper to size so that I can then uh, go ahead and die cut a couple of these uh, scalloped uh, stitched scalloped frames um, and I will be able to use them in my cards later on. So you can see all the detailing that the stitch detailing that the die adds. It's really beautiful. Next, I'm using the 12 by 12 270 GSM iris paper to make the base of the card. So this trimmer also comes with a scoring attachment, the white one here. And I'm going to score this 12 by 12 sheet in the center at six inches which will uh, become the fold of the card once we make it. And uh, I'm going to trim this into uh, um, four inch sections. So now that way I'll have uh, three cards from this one 12 by 12 sheet. So it's a really um, handy tool to have at hand, this trimmer plus scoring tool, um, because then you don't have to grab your scoring board uh, separately each time. I'm also uh, cutting out another uh, layering sheet or layer uh, for the cards from um, another pa pattern paper, this peachy one from the Eternals Love paper pack. And I kind of am building on the idea of how the cards would look like. So um, now we're going to make our shaker elements. Um, I'm going to apply some glossy accents and attach a, a piece of acetate to uh one of the die cuts here one of the tag die cuts and uh, i'm going to let it dry glossy accents is a great choice for this because it's one of the strongest glues um, available and we'll let this dry and do the same thing with the exo uh, tag as well just applying some glossy accents and then adding uh, a layer of acetate once it's dry we are going to trim out the acetate um, to fit the tag size and then I'm going to uh, start adding more layers of the die cuts uh, to make it more dimensional and to be able to fill it with uh, shaker elements like glitter and sequins. So I will add three to four layers of these die cuts um, together. I'm going to stack them up together and just glue them using a glossy accents. So once my uh, layered uh, tag is ready, I'm going to add some satin ribbon twine in off-white as well as some tool to add a more shabby chic look uh, to the entire tag. And then I'm going to repeat the same process with the XOXO tag as well. I'll just stack up a bunch of layers and then uh, we are going to fill it with shaker elements. Uh, so now that all of our um, embellishments are ready and layers are ready we are going to start assembling um, the card and before that i'm going to round the edges using this cutest little mini uh, corner round and um, 
Now we're just going to start adding the layers. So first is this uh, peach pattern paper and then we are going to add our um, the dragonfly pattern paper but I'm going to add that one um, with some dimensions. I'm going to add a piece of chipboard to it before I adhere it to the card just to add a little bit more visual dimension um, and uh, just to pop it up a little bit. And now it's time to build our, our shaker tags. So I'm going to add some sequins in this first one, which I will be adding the couple tag to. Um, so I'm just using some smallest, little teeniest uh, sequences there uh, because it doesn't have a lot of space and it, if it becomes bulky, it is not going to stay in place. And of course, I'm using my favorite sparkling dust. And then again, just uh, using the glossy accents, um, I'm going to stick it down. Uh, right uh, where we've put our sequence so that that sequence is trapped uh, inside this little um, shaker element here and you can put something heavy on top of it and let it dry completely um, or you could just add some paper clips or put it under a book um, and this other one I just used the sparkling dust because it doesn't have a lot of open space uh, for the sequence to show so I put on a candle there for it to dry completely and then um, I am going to arrange all these die cuts and add a beautiful floral um, arrangement here So uh, this is how the cards look once I've added all the florals. I used a uh, heat gun to, I'm sorry, the glue gun to um, add these. And now I'm using glossy accents again to add some more, just a sprinkle of uh, some sequins here, clear sequins, uh, to add a little bit more jazz to it. And that's it our sparkling cards are ready these are so beautiful in person uh, the camera isn't able to capture their beauty but they look so so beautiful and they shine so bright um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, for more such videos in the future thank you so much for watching today and have a great day bye